Hey, what's up guys? We're back in the warehouse today. It's a little bit rainy, so we decided to go ahead and uh, have a little bit of indoor fun. You know, springtime here, it's beautiful one minute, it's rainy the next, and well, you just kind of have to make do with your situation. So what we're going to do today is we're going to play with some of the Magic Ink markers, and I, I thought it'd be fun to kind of bring them out a, a little bit again. So we've been playing around with the CMYK process a lot on my Instagram feed, and people are just loving it. They love seeing the layering, they love seeing the color shifts, uh, they love playing with the markers and getting these effects. Now, with, in particular, you really want to have a dye-based marker to do this. And thankfully, Magic brought us these colors that give us the ability to produce that. The process is CMYK, but because of the medium that we're using, I do... Y C M. K. <laughs> Oops, there goes one of them. The reason why is the yellow marker will pick up the ink from the magenta or from the magenta in the cyan. So, you know, just because of the medium that we're using, I have to switch up the, the layering order to do it. Uh, it doesn't really affect it all too much. It actually makes a very nice color spectrum, as you can see right here. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. Ah, I'm just stopping everything. <laughs> But as you can see here, I started out with the yellow, and then I did the cyan, and then I did the magenta. And then the yellow and blue, they made green. Uh, the blue and the magenta, they made purple. Uh, when they start layering over, they become a dark red, uh, eventually moving on towards the black. Not quite black, because you have a key color in the CMYK process. You always have a key color, and that's your black. And that gives you that little black highlight that you need. And this, is a, this is a really fun process. You know, we're just doing tags with it right now. But think of it, if you did some type of stenciling thing, you could do some very photorealistic layering with it. Um, you know, the possibilities are really endless. But I got to tell you, man, I really love doing this. And, uh, you know, I'm just, a, I'm just a real sucker for color and real funky markers. And this, my friends is why I do what I do. <laughs> Alright, so why don't we go ahead and play with these and see what they're all about. Let's go ahead and get cracking with this CMYK process. Again, I'm doing YCMK, but <laughs> that's alright. Now this process is done utilizing transparent layers of these dyes. So I'm going to start with the yellow. Like I said, the way that this medium works for me, I find it best to use the yellow first. Uh, only because it floods the nib. So let's just do a couple quick tags here. Let's hit up the homie solid like that. And these are the small glass body. What do they call again? Magic ink? There we go. <laughs> oh man, I love that effect. As you can see, you're starting to get some greens in there. Um, all kinds of different colors will start to appear as you do this. Now Magic Ink is an oil-based um, oil based marker, and these are a dye-based marker as well too. So they are not pigmented, which means they are not the best for UV. But they are fun markers, and they're great for graphic design. They're still great for getting up, especially in situations where you want your marker to bleed, because they are very bleedy. They will bleed through like the Dickens. So if a bleed is what you need, then look no further, my friends. They are very, very bleedy. And as you can see, it creates this wonderful effect. Like right up here, nice and close, you're getting like these purples, you're getting some greens in there, getting some red maroon colors. Like it really, really starts to load up and you get some really, really cool effects. So think of all the creative potential you have with that. Really cool stuff. Maybe we should try the bigger markers next. All right, so this is the same brand of marker. They're made by Magic Ink. This is the MGD T5. The MGD is the series of these markers. They're 15 millimeters wide. Actually, it says 10 by 18, but to me, that looks like a standard 15 millimeter nib. But you'll find that with marker brands. They often, they measure things really, really weird. They're, there's no consistency to it, but just looking at it from my eye, it looks just like a standard 15 millimeter nib. So that is what I am going to call it, a 15 millimeter. Now these are extra broad and uh, you know a little consideration comes into play when you're writing with them. Uh, what helps with me is to kind of keep it at an angle and I'll show you right now. We'll do another, another Rolex here. So 
So as you can see, the marker is on a bit of an angle right there, and it kind of keeps it a little bit more consistent. Although I kind of flew off with that, but that's okay. I'm giving it mad flavor. All right, well, let's try the blue. This is the MGD T11. This is the T11. Let's see what that one's all about. And as you can see with the larger ones, oops, there's a seam right here that kind of threw me off, so I apologize there. As you can see with the larger ones, you get a much more pronounced effect with the CMYK. Should have started further over. Let's, uh, let's put a line here. All right, let's try the magenta. Hopefully I don't hit the crack too hard with that. Oh, and this is the MGT12, T12. Oh man, look at that color shift. Once you drop that magenta on it, it's just game over. It really is. I mean, honestly, I don't really feel the need to add black to it. I think the effect is perfect with just these three colors as is. Really, really cool stuff. <laughs> All right, let's do a couple quick tags. All right, let's go ahead and do a couple hit offs here. I'm gonna hit off uh, Skylar Sharp first. He comments on the videos a lot. We'll give him some love. What's up, Skylar? Running out of room. <laughs> the homie Alex B. Alex B. Give him a big giant exclamation point. There we go. Lil Leo, that's a great name, man. I love that name. Lil, Lil Leo. I hope that's his rapper name. It's a great rapper name, Lil Leo. Big Daiso one. He's got a YouTube channel, actually. You guys should go check out Daiso. He is always putting out content. He is in um, Singapore. He's in Singapore. You guys know about Singapore? Don't go tag in there. They'll king you. <laughs> Wasn't that Singapore? Yeah, what's Singapore? <laughs> oh yeah, let's hit up Dage. Big Dage the one. Big Dage in the house. Oh yeah. All right, let's switch up the colors. All right, so sometimes I like to make an alphabet soup. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're just gonna start mixing names up here. So up next is Dark Matter. Cause then you can kind of start seeing the layers, you know what I'm saying? Like a wall that just got grilled with tags. Big dark matter in the house. All right, let's hit up the homie RE1. There we go. So I noticed the markers were looking a little bit on the dry side. They're, they're older markers. I've been using them for a few months and it looks like they're probably about ready to get a refill. And that's one of the great things about these markers is they're really easy to unscrew just like that. As you can see here, the nib goes in pretty far and you have a uh, nice little well in there full of wadding. What's really great is Magic Ink comes with these 60 milliliter refill bottles. So you can go ahead and take one of these bad boys, open them up. And there you go. You got a fresh little refill right here. And this will give you lots and lots of juice. So let's go ahead and open this up. These look like the new bottle styles. The old ones you had to crack open the top. But these, very easy to open. Very easy to fill with. So you go ahead and get your marker here. Let's go ahead and start dropping them in there. Get some nice drip action going in that marker. Get it flowing. Get it nice and saturated. Don't get shy with the ink, boys. You want that thing to get juiced type of stuff that we're doing we like it juicy juicy baby oh yeah look at that oh yeah very saturated that's what she said all right let's go ahead and screw it back in let's go ahead and test it out real quick here let's give it a test here oh yeah looking much better look at that much more opaque now remember this is an oil-based ink it's not alcohol based so this will work on a variety of surfaces wet surfaces uh particularly um on ice, actually. This is actually a very popular marker for ice sculptors. So when they do their ice sculpture, they use this to sketch on the ice because it's the only thing that'll write on it. And it's the only, it's the only uh, 
flow marker like this available in the United States that'll write on so many surfaces because it's the only one in existence anymore that's a real oil-based ink. They've all gone to alcohol. This is the real deal, my friends. It smells great. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get the other ones juiced up while we're at it here too. We got the uh, cyan color. Now keep in mind, they don't call it cyan. They call it sky blue, yellow, and pink. And this, just so you guys know, is the same ink that is used in these markers as well too. So if you have a glass body that's running low, there's your refill right there. You're ready to rock it. So let's go ahead and fill up the blue here, or the cyan, I'm sorry. Doo, doo, doo. Wait, did I get sky blue or regular blue? Yes, I got sky blue, okay. They do have two blues in the magic ink, so be conscious of that when you're purchasing your refills. There is a blue and a sky blue. And let me show you the difference. Here is the blue. Here is the sky blue, or your cyan, if you will. You see the difference right there? Much darker. All right, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy filled up. That way we're ready to try again. Get some in the nib, get a little bit more in there, get some in the nib. Don't be shy. Flow it in, flow it in. I like it real juicy. Juicier the better. All right, let's do another test line here. Oh yeah, now we got that flow. Look at that, that's beautiful. I think that's what we we're looking for, guys. All right, dope, let's check it out with a nice ink refill. Let me do a buster tag. Oh yeah, look at that. Much better. I'll tell you what, a, a, a juicy, greasy marker really helps me flow, it really helps me flow. But look at the comparison to that. Much more rich, much deeper color, much better all around her. All right, let's do a, another buster tag right over that one with the cyan. And yep, the color shift is happening. It's a happening thing, boys. It's a happening thing. Oh yeah, oh, forgot about that line there, didn't I? <laughs> Look, we're making the yellow, we're making a nice green in there. Why don't we bring in the magenta? Oh, shoot, 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 I almost forgot. There we go, beautiful. All right, let's try the magenta now. Oh yeah, the magenta was already juiced. It was beautiful from birth. You were born that way. Oh man, this is, yeah, yeah. Make sure you get them nice and juiced, man, because that's really how it shines. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That's some straight up pop art. Look at that right there. Oh my God, look at the color shifts right there. Think of all the possibilities that you can do with that. Such a cool, it's very pop art. All right, let's go ahead and get back to that alphabet soup now that we got it nice and uh, saturated. Okay. I'm gonna hit up the homie Maro, M-A-U-R-O, and that's Maro HD, because he's high def, baby. High def. Reef Campbell, big reef in the house. Smoking that reefer, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry moms, I won't make jokes about that anymore. <laughs> All right, let's hit up the homie NC. See what he's all about. All right, time to switch to magenta. All right, dope. Let's go ahead and make this alphabet soup real crazy here. I'm gonna hit up the homie Paint Scum, which is a great name, by the way. Big ups to Paint Scum for having a great username. <laughs> Paint Scum. It's kind of what I feel like sometimes. <laughs> Oh man, I love how that makes that purple, man. This is so cool. You know, the thing is too, is you can mix these ink colors together. So if you wanted to take a, a magenta marker, fill it with some blue to make a funky purple, you could totally do that too. I don't want to do that to this one because it's my only one. You know, I try not to uh, 
try not to get high off our own supply too much here. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm kind of preserving this one for future videos. But maybe maybe later on down the road we'll do some color mixing with them. That's my homie Damn Son. I love that dude. Oh, I think we need to refill on this one. All right, guys, we're back in the lab, and it looks like it's time for a pit stop with the pink. I thought it was pretty juicy, but it needs a refill. No big deal. These refills are cheap. They work great. That's kind of what's fun about these projects is I'm using these markers in real life. You know what I'm saying? This is a, this is a marker I've probably done. I've probably done like 3,000 tags with this marker. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's been used quite a bit. Uh, but it still runs. It runs great. The barrel's good. The nib's great. Just needs a little refill every once in a while. You're good to go. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Like some like 80s Japanese thing. Like what is this thing? And then you open up like, oh, it's a marker. Of course. Of course it's a marker. Give it some extra juice in there. Oh yeah. Let's see how that looks now. I probably overjuiced it. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Look at that color shift. Yeah, that is fan tab fabuloso. That's what it is. That's the word I was looking for. Let's see how that looks now. Oh yeah, much better. Much better. Yep. Fabuloso. Remember kids, don't drink fabuloso. It's not it's not drinkable. All right, let's hit up the homie Clean 13. Clean 13. Oh, they are so heavenly when you have that nib juice. Oh my god, it feels so good. It's heaven. Yeah. Now that is how a marker should feel. Juicy, flowy, and beautiful. Well, watch out for that crack. Now, one thing I've noticed with these broad tip markers like, like these is as you use them, you, one side will favor over the other. See how that side is less flowy than this side? It's just the more you use one side, you see how the nib's starting to kind of get a, a bit of a bevel right there? You guys see that right there? So eventually the ink will kind of flow to that point of the marker. If you use the other side, it's, it's a little bit less smooth. You see that? Let me go back to the other side here. Look at that. See the difference? much smoother. So as you use your jumbo marker, keep that in mind. You, you kind of make your own little sweet spot, if you will, with use. The homie Go Go Kimov. You hit up a Go Go Kimov tag. Kim 13. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this mess of color. It's like chaos. I love it. I love it. Ah, that stupid crack. <laughs> Some Cyan. Oh, stupid crack. Crack is killing me. Crack is whack, yo. Man, that color shift. I love the color shift. I love it so much. Yellow and blue make green, kids. Yellow and blue makes green. All right, let's do some more hit-offs here. All right, guys, remember to find your sweet spot on the marker. I think mine's right there. Let's hit up Beehive. Give Beehive some love here. R.I.P. Beehiver. True inspiration to us all you were. And still are. We want to talk about a king of style, man. This guy right here. He had styles for miles. Styles you didn't even know about. Styles you didn't even hear about. Only a select few. New. All right, let's go ahead and do a tag here. Now we got the green up in there.
Watch out for that crack, man. That crack is my bane. <laughs> oh my god, I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, there's a little crack there. That crack is killing me. Now, one thing I would want to mention, you know, this is just a demo video, obviously, and we're just showing you some ideas of what you can do with it. If you're doing letter stuff, you might want to space them out a little bit to just make room for the gradient or not. You know, you don't have to, but if you want, you know, let's like, let's try it like this. In fact, let's just do it right now while we're here. All right, let me just do an inky real quick here. Give inky some love too, because you know, we all love inky. You'll see how I'm giving it space here, right? These will just have to blend together. That's just the way that's gonna work. All right, so we have Inky here, right? Now when we do the effect, we'll have a little bit more room to work with. there for a second. All right, perfect. Now let's bring the magenta in here. Find our sweet spot. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Gotta think about it for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of takes a second. Uh, it didn't come out right. Whatever. <laughs> we'll just roll with it. <laughs> uh, you get the picture. But as you can see, you can make all these really cool color combinations, man. I mean, it's just, just think of the possibilities. Fine art, graphic design, you name it. The possibilities are endless. God, I love these markers. You know, it's a boring, rainy day today. We can't go out and paint. But we usually, we found something, something we can do to have a little fun with some markers, see what they're all about, you know, communicate back to the people, hit you guys off, you know, and that's what's really fun, you know, because I know you have that itch in you. You have that, that desire, that urge to just hit up, you know, and sometimes you just can't get out there. But if you're just at home with the homies, you know, kicking a few back, doing your thing, and you want to do some hit offs, this is really great. Hey, if you got like a group show, an art show coming up, maybe you want to like bring a little something new to the table, try out this technique. You might blow some minds with it. Um, everybody that, everyone that's seen it really loves it. Everyone that's tried it really likes doing it. So maybe step outside of the box a little bit, bring a little something new to the table, and uh, bring a little pop art to your graffiti art. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, I guess that's it. All I got to say is I really love these markers. They're fun to write with. Uh, they definitely are in my satchel at all times. If, if I'm carrying a couple markers, this is something that I can fully, fully endorse. But remember, they're dye-based, they're not pigmented, so they're more uh, appropriate for staining applications or situations where it's not gonna be in direct sunlight. Uh, but it's still a great fine art tool, graphic design tool, you name it. There's so many, so many possibilities for this marker. So I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanna say thanks for watching our video. Thanks for following us on YouTube. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the bell. That is very, this is very important to hit the bell. Hit the bell. And, uh, and I guess that's pretty much it. So thank you very much, guys. This is Art Primo. This is GR signing out. Ed is behind the camera, my homie. Thank you. I love you guys. Stay up. Stay awesome. Be your own grandpa. And remember, graffiti is whatever you want it to be. Whatever you want it to be. I'll see you guys later.